The Stellar View SVX-127D is the sharpest 5-inch refractor we have ever made. Today I want to take you behind the scenes and show you what goes into producing our SVX telescope objectives. Our story begins in our shop after the lenses are ground and polished. This preliminary work isn't particularly special any optical shop can machine polish lenses. What makes a noticeable difference is the hand figuring we do right here in our figuring and metrology lab. It takes several months to reduce the aberrations we see in machine polished optics by hand figuring the glass day after day, week after week. First, we assemble the objective and we map the optical wavefront using the Zygo interferometer. We identify the most serious aberration first. The objective is then disassembled so we can hand figure the glass. We only touch the glass for about five minutes during each figuring session. We let the glass cool overnight. The next day we clean and then we reassemble the objective assembly. We then align all of the elements and once we've aligned it, we map the optical wavefront again to see what needs to be addressed next. Each objective goes through this improvement process over and over again for weeks as we slowly and meticulously minimize aberrations. The difference between a machine polished and a hand figured objective is often quite obvious in actual practical use. We use a Zygo Verifier phase shifting laser interferometer for optical testing. This instrument has significant advantages over other methods of testing. The Zygo delivers fast, reliable, and quantifiable measurements even in the presence of vibration and air turbulence. With each push of the button, the optic is tested at full aperture 100 times in a row. This is the most accurate method of testing in our production environment. Since the entire production process may take as long as a year, we operate one year in advance. So most of our telescopes can be shipped about one week after they've been ordered. The Zygo interferometer uses a helium neon laser, so it tests in red light. When we're reducing aberrations that impact performance, it really doesn't matter what color is used since these defects are seen in all colors. But once all the aberrations are reduced, we perform additional figuring sessions to move the center of the optical correction towards the middle of the visual spectrum. This is lens number 124. Generally, the SVX-127Ds range from about 0.984 to 0.988 strill. In order to take a qualitative look at how this lens performs in three colors, we're placing this lens on our double pass auto columnator equipped with a precision glass 150 line Ronke grading, a 120th wave zero door optical flat, and we're measuring using three Thorlabs LEDs. We are going to be creating Ronke bands. As with the fringes on the interferometer, the straighter the Ronke bands, the better the spherical test. We are looking for lines that look similar to jail bars in green light. While it's normal to test with five bars showing, we're going to increase the sensitivity and use three bars so any curvature will really stand out. Here is the objective lens in green light at 545 nanometers. The Ronke bands really do look like jail bars. Here's the test in red light. It emulates the actual fringes on the interferometer nicely. Finally, here's what it looks like in blue light. This will give you some idea of how our SVX-127D objectives generally perform. If we tested the same lens before it was hand figured, the results would be less impressive. That's why we spend the time we do in hand figuring SVX objectives. 
Dennis DeChico, a senior editor for Sky and Telescope magazine, reviewed the SVX-127D, and he gave it the highest marks. Under the heading, Things We Liked, he wrote, Excellent optical performance, excellent mechanical construction, noteworthy rotating focuser. He was reviewing the standard model SVX-127D with Stellarview's 3-inch rack and pinion dual speed focuser. Under the heading, What We Don't Like, he simply wrote, Nothing. So, the SVX-127D is a top-rated refractor and one we are very proud of. The Stellarview SVX-127D telescope is currently in stock. Thanks for watching.